again and uh, thanks for guys, thank you always for watching these videos. I appreciate it. Please let me know what questions you have or how I can help you uh, and I'll do everything in my power to do so. Today's video, multiplication. Talking about factors. What's a factor? All right, well, let's find out. So factors are numbers that are multiplied together to get another number. It is that simple. Any two numbers that you multiply together, those are factors, and they're going to come up with, what is this? The answer to a multiplication product? Well, that's the product. The, the answer to a multiplication problem is the product, okay? Two factors multiplied together create, you know, produce a product. So any two numbers that multiply together to come up with another number, those are factors. So let's look at factors, and we're going to talk about why factors are important at the end of this video. You can always start with one, right? One times that number. So one times eight, those are both factors of eight. Can we divide eight by two? Yeah, yeah we can. So two times what equals eight? Two times four. Three, six, nine, nope. Got, knowing our multiples will help us per create and find factors. Three doesn't go into eight, uh, and four already is here. So here are our factors for eight. What about 27? One times 27, always, always start with one. It's easy. Two, no, two doesn't do it. Look, that's an odd number. What about three? Three, yeah, three does. Three times nine is 27. Here are our factors for 27. 1, 27, 3, 9. 32, 32 has got a lot. 1 times 32. Well, it's an even number, so it can be divided by 2. What is 2 times 16? 2 times 16. Okay. What about 3? Well, 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 11 is 33, so not 3. What about 4? Yeah, four. Four times what? Four times eight. Okay, mental math. We've got to know this stuff. We've got to have it memorized. Um, five times six is 30, and five times seven is 35, so it's not five. What about six? Six, uh, six times four is 24, six times five is 30, 36, nope. Hmm. 12? What about 12? 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36. Nope, not 12. Here we are. Six factors go into 32. 12. 1 times 12. 2 times 6. 3 times 4. Those are our factors. As factors are important because factors are going to help us reduce fractions. Later, the year later in the year we're gonna to have to know how to reduce fractions it's gonna be very very important and factors help us do it okay so let's what about factors of 13 1 times 13 every every number has two factors one and that number okay two no three three times four is twelve three times five is fifteen no that's a prime number it's one and itself that's it thirty five 1 times 35, uh, 2, no, what about 5 times 7, and that's it. 48, 1 times 48, 2 times 24, 3, does 3 go in? Well, let's find out. 48 divided by 3, 1, um, okay, well, 3 times 1 is, is 3, so it's a remainder of 1. Look, 16. 3 times 16. So if you get stumbled, just use division and you can figure it out. 3 times 16, okay, what about 4? Four? 4 times what? 4 times 12, right? 12, 4 times 2 is 8, okay, 4 times 1 is 4, 48. Um, not 5, what about 6? Yeah, 6. 6 times 8 is 48. That has got to be memorized. You have to memorize your single digits. You've got to memorize your multiples. 7, nope, there we go. 
That's those are our factors for 48. 21 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. Okay. These are factors. This is to help practice just learning how to find the factors that you have uh, for a product or for a number. And anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you next time.